Hey guys, it's RDA, and today I am going to be doing a review video. I've never done this before, but I'm not going to be reviewing just one thing. Not just two things, not just three things, but four things. So I have a watercolor brush pen, and the weird thing is that it looks white in real life and on camera, but it's actually clear if you can't see that. And I got the large size so I could cover more ground with it. And this um, end is like small so I can do all of that stuff. And then I got two packs of six um, markers, of Premier markers. And these are by Nicole, I think that says. And one side is a brush tip and one side is a chisel tip. So we'll get onto that. Then I got watercolor, water soluble uh, watercolor pencils. So, um, happy I got those. And, um, there's like 36 covers in there. And I only, I got it on sale, so I got it for, uh, $16. So, I'll then I got a sketchbook, but I'm not going to review that because it's like your random everyday sketchbook. So, I'm not going to be reviewing that. But if you guys really want to know, it's a really good sketchbook and I really recommend it. So I feel like I just want to jump into the video because I'm really excited to show you guys what we're going to be doing today. So um, I want to get started. Alright guys, so I do want to talk about the markers real quick. So one thing about them is you cannot, and I repeat, cannot find them online. You have to get them in stores. Um, I think the only place that they sell them in store is at AC Moore. That's the only place you can literally get them. Like, you can get the fine point ones that they sell online, but, like, you can't get the one, the brush tip ones online. Like, they don't sell them online, which is why I can't put the link in the description for these markers. But two pictures of them um, in stores will be on the screen right now. So, you can get those. So, um, yeah. With the markers. So, um... The markers were overall like pretty good like i really didn't have a lot of problems with them but um i just want to talk about them for a little bit so um the markers that i got they are called premier markers and you can get i think there's a 36 set i think that's the most you can get in a pack um you can get a six pack obviously because those are the ones i got and um the things that I saw in them were, as you can see when I did the nose, it's not the marker's fault. It's because whenever you use a pen and you try to, like, go over it with a marker, it's automatically going to smudge because it's you're going outside the line. So that's why that happened. It's not a big deal, but um, that wasn't the marker's fault. Um, But one thing I did notice with them, one thing I did notice about these markers was that um, the brush tip, I'm probably going to say this back uh, again in the next part of the video, but, um, the brush tip was, like, really, really, like, stiff, like, it's still really good to use, but it was a little bit stiff, so it was a tiny bit hard to use, but I used it, and it was fine. But um, just so you guys know, this video is not sponsored at all. I just really wanted to do a review since I got them. And I wanted to see if you guys wanted to get them. If you guys do, I wanted to tell you whether they're worth it or not. So that's why I'm doing this video. It is not sponsored. I repeat, not sponsored. But um, <laughs> yeah, now that I've got that across, um, let's talk about the drawing. So, so why I wanted to make this video is because I always had this like one teddy bear that I would always sleep with 
and um I always had like pigtails my hair is really cute all the time and um that's really the only reason that I made this I kind of just was like ooh, I should make this because like I had a whole bunch of like um brown earth tones so I was, it just came to me to draw this so that's the only reason why I drew it but um if you guys wanted to know that's why so yeah Just in case you guys didn't know. So, um, I just did, like, a whole bunch of, like, shape pattern stuff on it. Like, I don't know what I was really doing. I just made shapes. And I just went with it. And it was really cool. I, my favorite part of this whole drawing was when I used the water-soluble color pencils. They were really, really high quality. Like, honestly, I felt like I was using top-notch professional color um, watercolor pencils. They were really, really good, and I totally, totally recommend you get. It's probably a good number of um, colored pencils up to, for you to have because they come in such a variety of colors. They have enough reds. They have enough of the whole rainbow. One thing that I would say was they should put more like skin tones, like maybe like a couple more tans. They only, I don't, I don't think they have tans, or maybe like one, but it's kind of yellowy. And um, they should put more like brown varieties. Like they have like, I think like three, but like they should put some in the middle tones too. And definitely more peach lighter colors, more peach light skin tone colors. That's just one critique that I have. But overall, I really liked all the art supplies. Very helpful. And um, they were very useful. So when I was doing this part. It's literally the funnest thing in the world. You guys need to do this. Get some water soluble pencils, even if you only have one, and use the brush pen. It's l so fun. So um, that's the part, and this is me doing it. It's really fun. You guys need to try it. And it, it gives it such a cool texture. Like, I know everybody's going to be like, duh, don't you know that? It's going to give it a watercolor effect. But, like, it's it's so pretty. Like, I knew it was going to give me that effect, but it's so awesome to look at, to look at it change. But, um, yeah, after this, I'm going to hit you guys with a montage because I think that's popular on YouTube. I don't really know. But, yeah. Can I hit you guys with a montage? In three, two, one.